Hey, what is up guys? ClausNX here and welcome to another episode of Ask KX. So this question comes to us from uh, user named Martina and her question is, Hey Zach, I was going to post the question but then decided to ask you over text. What about the roll thing? You hold the bar with a rope and turn it on from the bottom to the top. Is this something which can hurt your wrists? I believe she asked me this in reference to that Instagram video I made about uh, grip strength. It was kind of a sarcastic video, but it was it was honest. And I guess in that video I was talking about how uh, if you wanted to improve your grip strength to stop going to the gym and just doing these, right? And um, I guess she's, she's wondering if, if the roll thing is, is helpful. If you're wondering what the roll thing is, this is a paper towel roll, I don't exercise with it. Uh, there's a, a rope that kind of goes around the center and then the rope kind of goes down and then there's like a, t a 10 pound weight plate attached to the rope and then you just go like this, right? And she's wondering if this is something that can hurt your wrists. Let me first of all tell you uh, the context as to why I made that video. Being a gym staff, I see a lot of people in the gym doing a lot of silly things. And um, the one that just really gets to me is the wrist flexions and the wrist extensions when you're trying to strengthen uh, your grip strength. Now the strength in your grip does not come from this joint. The strength in your grip comes from all the muscles that attach at your elbow, run down your arm, and then go into your fingers, okay? That's where your grip strength comes from. So when you grip something, all these muscles in your forearm, they're engaged, they're flexing, they're, they're contracting, okay? Your wrist joint isn't really in that equation. I mean, the stronger you make the, the muscles surrounding the joint and the muscles that move the joint, it will strengthen the joint of your wrist. But if you wanna improve your grip strength, you shouldn't be going to the gym and doing wrist flexion and wrist extension. You should be doing things that challenge your forearm as a whole. Now, I don't doubt that there are some benefits that come from wrist flexion exercises. And I, you know, over time, I bet it just totally burns and it's a killer workout. Um, but I mean, you have to do like 60 reps to get to that burn. The rope handle is really good because, okay, why do people want good grip strength? The answer is that you just wanna have good grip, right? In life, when you grab anything in life, you wanna have good grip. You don't ever wanna be in a position where you have to carry something or you have to hold something and your grip gives out. You know, you could be moving furniture, you could be carrying in grocery bags, right? Your grip is super crucial to what you're doing. Um, that being said, it's functional, right? It's functional to have good grip strength. So when you are have this, this bar, and you're kind of rolling it up, um, you're doing a functional movement. This is something that you could be doing at your job. You could be rolling something up. You could be cranking a wheel. I know my dad working in the lumber industry, he has to tie down his loads with these really long straps and you have to like, you have to tighten this wheel that has the strap on it, right? And, and you have to do it over and over and over. And I remember I worked at his job for a few months and Oh, my wrists got so tired and not just my wrists just like my forearm muscles in general right got tired from all this motion that's or that's a real life thing that's a real life job that someone has to do every single day so when you have something like this right that's real life application it's not just your wrists going like this right it's your kind of your whole forearm is into it and you kind of you start to get a little bit of elbows into it right and you're you're standing there and you're kind of positioning yourself and i really think that that is a better exercise for you than just doing wrist flexion and wrist extension because it's more applicable it's more functional that's why if you're training to have functional strength you have to train in a functional way so if i want to have strength to carry something to grip something in my hands when they're down at my sides or something like that that's how i'm going to train that's why the deadlift is such a great exercise because it's what humans are good at it's what we're made to do is picking things up off of the ground okay that's why like the, the deadlift is so good it uses your whole body and it's super functional and you can apply it everywhere if you're exercising for functional strength, you want to do exercises that are functional. It's the same thing. If you're lifting to be a bodybuilder and you want to get big and look good, then do exercises that make you big and look good, right? You don't have to worry about functional strength. And if you're training to look good, but you want grip strength, grip strength, no matter how you look at it, it's a functional element to your body. There's no way that you should be training grip strength in a way that isn't functional. Real world scenario, always think real world scenario. If when do I need grip strength? If, if I'm picking up something heavy or I'm carrying it for a long period of time. So do that same thing in the gym. You know, you've got great conditions, grab a pair of dumbbells and just walk around with them at your sides or hold, a, hold one heavy dumbbell like this and walk around with it. You know, just practice working your grip with a variety of exercises that benefit you in the real world. Tell me one scenario in your life when you're going to be doing this, I guess aside from revving up your motorcycle, 
right? Or like this, never. Okay, it's just it kind of puts it puts your wrists in an in, in a pinched place, in a place that you don't want to be. If you're ever exercising and you have all the weight in your wrist and you're going like this, it, you're putting your joint at extreme risk. You wouldn't do that in real life, right? You'd use your bicep, you'd use your whole arm if you were carrying something, not just your wrist. So don't train with just your wrist. If you want good grip strength, you gotta train functional. Pick everything's up, carry them around, squeeze things and hold them. That's the secret. It's not really a secret. It, we just overthink these things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this answered your question. Leave a like if you like the video. If you have a question of yourself, please post it in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more videos. Colossnex out.